<laughs> Better made Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City Moved out to the Gold State, California, I ain't come from love with me Focus like Adderall, when I had a ball, I shatter boys Shack fool in the 9 2 a vocab boy like Scattergore One kid, but I'm sunny What up everybody, I'm Mark This is M.O. Closet Collection Thanks for hitting my channel up If you have videos on the freshest kicks, merch, etc Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell Shout out to Lil Master for that reminder Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Nike Sakai collaboration, the Vapor Waffle in the Fuchsia colorway. These dropped on November 13th for the price of 180 bucks. I was able to secure my pair off the sneakers app. I got them in my personal size, size 13. It's some hype around the Nike Sakai collaborations. I guess the last few Vapor Waffles, they're still pulling resale. These are going for about 150 bucks, 200 bucks over retail, depending on which size you got. But anyhow, let's unbox these bad boys. Let me grab my shank, turn the safety off. Cause remember, safety first. Remember when I come open the box to always cut away. Always cut away. Cause trust me, you don't wanna get shanked. Discard that. All right, let's uncrack these bad boys. All right, so it's a nice uh, looking orange Nike box. I've never seen, I think I've seen a black version of this, but not an orange version. Discard that. All right, so the size tag says Nike Vapor Waffle slash Sakai. The colorway is Sail Sport Fuchsia Light Bone, size 13. Let's crack them open. All right, the paper says something. I don't know what. <laughs> I think it says Nike. Oh, wow. These are very nice. And there you have it, the new Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the Fuchsia colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, for some reason, come with an extra pair of spare black flat laces. Uh, these are like the standard cotton black laces. What it looks like is the black laces that's in them. It's like thinner, it's still flat, but it's like thinner. So I'm guessing if you wanted these thick ones, you can put them in there, whatever. Let's hop into a review. Starting the lateral side at the bottom, you can see the outsole is all black. You can kind of get that waffle pattern from the side. And right above that, you have this white midsole that's sitting underneath this blue additional midsole that's kind of elongated and stick out from the back of the shoe. Then right above that, you have, it's two tones. It's like a light bone foam, and then it's a white foam in front of it. So the white foam go around to the back and it kind of swoops up. And then the white foam has the black Nike swoosh kind of dipping into it. You have two Nike swooshes. You have a black one that's painted on. Then you have a red one that's leather. And it's, just some, it's like some uh, lightly tumbled red leather. And underneath they have this mesh. And the mesh is like in a sail colorway. Right above that on top of the mesh, you have like this rubber dip that's on top of it. And it's like in the light bone colorway. And on top you have this uh, suede panel for the eyelets that's like in the light bone. Then right here at the heel, you have this uh, leather patch. And it's like in a gray or light bone colorway. And it's a hole cut in a patch where you can see the mesh exposed. Rolling on to the front of the shoe, uh, you have a little bit of that outsole spilling up in black. Then predominantly it's this nice soft suede going around in the light bone. And then moving up right here to this mesh, this mesh is see-through. You can see right through it. So you had on like red socks, yellow socks, you can see them. And I'm sure the airflow is amazing. Then moving up, you have this uh, suede patch, the same suede from the toe, going up all the way up for the eyelets and the light bone. And then you have these laces that's double laced. You have a white, normal flat white lace. Do you have a thinner black lace that's weaved through it from the bottom to the top? Now underneath you have this tongue that's in this mesh, the cell color mesh, and it's two tongues actually. So at the top of the first tongue, that's all the mesh, it has the Nike logo and the Nike swoosh in red. And then underneath that, <laughs> the second tongue, which is very thin and it's like a uh, canvas or whatever it is, has Nike written in black with the Nike swoosh and it says Sakai. On the inside of the shoe, it's uh, very thinly padded. It's not much padding in there. And it's in like a light bone color. And then the insole, the insole says Nike and Sakai. I'll give you a better look. So here's the insole, it's like a yellow and speckled on one side. The side is like a light bone and it says Nike and Sakai in black. Rolling on to the medial side of the shoe, or the art size I like to call it, it's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side, but it's missing a couple of things. So the one thing is missing is that additional black Nike swoosh coming down. Then on the lateral side, instead of that, that sail, 
colorway for that midsole going all to the front and then split into white. It's just all the way to the front. It's all one midsole color here on the art side. Rolling on to the rear of the shoe, this is <laughs> very interesting. You know, at the bottom you get more of that black outsole spilling up, then you have that white midsole. Then right above that, you have this blue midsole that's pretty much predominant on the back of the shoe and it's sticking out. Then in between, it's like a duck's bill and the padding in there is very hard. It's like a hard plastic. Then moving up, you have that midsole that's in sale, swooping up. And I mean, this, this cushion is very soft, but I wonder how soft it really is with this very hard plastic in between. I wonder if that's the board from the front of the shoe to the back of the shoe, or is it only back here because it's split? Moving up, you have this pull tab that's like in a light bone colorway. And then on top of that, you have like a small black Nike swoosh. The underneath in red leather, it says Nike and Sakai. This pull tab don't seem so functional, but I'm sure it'll help. Anyhow, you already know, pull tab gang all day. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe, you have this classic Nike waffle outsole. It's just an all black, and you have the Nike brand in the middle. I wanna do a real quick look at the outsole of my Nike ISPA Roll Warriors in the clear jade, cause I, I figured that kinda of had an inspiration from the waffle outsole. Let's look real quick. So, um, I do see the inspiration. So like, uh, it's on the Sakai waffles. The waffle patterning is very large. It's very large. And it's like a little dot or nipple in between each of the traction pads. So over here on the ISPAs, it's the same thing, but it's very tiny in comparison. It's a small little traction box and got a nipple in the middle. So I can see the inspiration, but it's literally, it's large versus small. So all in all, I'm actually impressed by this shoe. It's uh, some good materials going on and it's bigger than I thought it would be. I'm uh, not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not. I'm not planning on it. I might try them on and see how they feel. But outside of that, I don't know, I might uh, get rid of them. What do you think I should do? Let me know in the comment section down below. So once again, I wanna thank everyone for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Let's keep the momentum going. As my little son say, don't be a stupid, dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla. I put 10,000 hours in. We don't throw no tiles in. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Put the work in. If it's money on the floor, girl, put some work in. I'll be damned if what I do, I ain't the best at it. Gotta go that extra mile, then the rest at it. Push, 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 push. Put the work in. If it ain't about no money, it ain't working. Yeah. From punching the clocks, not punching bars over beats. If it's pun, you in 10, run up, I punch on your cheek Long nights, long days, trying to find me a way me I was way. in the stoop cooking while niggas party and play Came from Cardi's and Waves, Tuck, Dino's and Spades California I live in, but in Detroit I was raised So my hustle is different, hard dark is my pigment From the start, hard to get it and be the best nigga in it So I put, I put 10,000 hours in, we don't throw no tiles in Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Put the work in. If it's money on the floor, girl, put some work in. I'll be damned if what I do, I ain't the best at it. Gotta go that extra mile, then the rest at it. Push, 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 push. Put the work in. If it ain't about no money, it ain't working.